Okay, today we have Samyang Baldak hot chicken flavor ramen. This time it's the stew type. So for those who don't know, Samyang Baldak is a really famous Korean noodle, famous for the fire noodle challenge. We've reviewed a number of their different flavors on this channel and all of them so far have gotten five stars. I have had this before. This stew type Baldak is actually the first Samyang Baldak that I got and ever tried. And I remember this fondly, but I have to say, as soon as I tried tried the stir-fried baldac. I never went back to the stew type ever again. I was just in love with that stir-fry type. And that does make me wonder, looking back, I wonder is the stew type just genuinely not as good? But we'll have to see. Um, it's been a very, very long time since I've had this and I'm very, very excited. I do remember the first time I went for this. I wanted to see if it was anything like Shin Ramyun, which I had had a lot of at the time, which is a stew type noodle. And yeah, I think maybe for some reason I felt like that was what you were supposed to buy out of the Samyang Baldak range rather than the stir fry version. But now I know, I know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go for the stir fry one. But yeah, really excited to try this again. See if my fond memories come flooding back. And yeah, um, we'll check it out. So firstly, let's have a look at the packaging. Gonna be honest, I think I prefer this to the standard packaging and pretty much most of the others. I think I really like the Carbon Arrow one. It's pretty cool. It stands out. You don't see anything like it. But I think I prefer, there's a lot more interesting stuff happening on this, so I think I prefer it to the standard black one. You know, you've got that combination of black and red there. It's just a bit more interesting, I think. Yeah, I really, I really do like it. Not really much special going on on the front other than the great mascot great branding that we've come to know and love yeah all this stuff on the side is pretty standard yeah serving suggestion looks okay yeah I'm, i think i'm pretty happy with that i know that the samyang packaging is of a high quality it feels really good even the outer packaging that it comes in feels really good so yeah i, I do quite like it and i've always loved the logo on this i think it is good I should mention, I bought this in a pack of five, which was £6.75 for five. So each packet is £1.35, which is pretty typical of a Samyang Baldak noodle. Okay, let's have a look at the energy. Oh, again, per 100 grams, that's not what I want. 352 calories per 100 grams. But that just is so useless to me. 145 net weight. Cool. All right, let's look at the ingredients. Again, I just skip the noodles, go straight to the, yeah, here we go. There's, okay, so there's the sauce and there's the powder. So the sauce has water, chili pepper paste, sugar, flavor enhancer, soy sauce, yeast extract, salt, corn syrup, garlic, soybean oil, onion, rice, color, chili pepper, artificial chicken flavoring, chili pepper extract, black pepper, thickener, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the powder has sugar, and artificial chicken flavoring, potato starch, garlic, salt, dehydrated chives, roasted sesame, roasted lava, which is the seaweed, chili pepper, thickener, soybean oil. Wow. So I'm expecting some really classic Baldac flavors there. I'm expecting pretty much all of the chili pepper flavor that you would come to expect from a Baldac. Really garlicky and sweet as well, because there's quite a bit of sugar in this sauce. But this powder that you put on top, I remember that really standing out for me. I remember, I mean, it sticks in my mind, the garlic and the dehydrated chives and the sesame. I think that's the predominant flavor that I'm gonna be getting in terms of aromatics at the end. But we'll have to see. Like I say, it's been a very long time since I've had this. Really excited to give it a go again. Okay, and cooking instructions, add the sauce into 500 milliliters of water and boil. When the water starts to boil, add the noodles and cook for five minutes. Add the powder, stir well and serve. Really, really easy. Let's go inside. Love it. Love it. Okay, so this is really interesting. Coming back to this after having eaten the stir fry style ones for so long, they've deliberately gone for a round one. I think this is because the traditional stew noodle style in Korea is to cook in one of these, and I think it's a copper pot usually, but one of those pots there. I think it's really traditional to have a circle, circular noodle going into that. So, but I just completely forgot 
that this one was round, you know, like you would expect from a Shin Ramyun. This is the first Samyang one that I think I've ever seen that's circular. Lovely thick noodles and that classic Samyang crinkle. Really, really excited for them. And this amazing branding, this classic Baldak branding, which I absolutely love and always have. Let's start with the sauce. Okay, I think I messed that up. Let's try again. Here we go. Okay, failed attempt both times. Let's just cut it. Really thick. Way thicker than I was expecting, actually. You know, it's funny. It's been honestly, I think, maybe three years since I've had this. It's amazing what you forget. <laughs> that is so thick, but it makes sense. This is going into a stew, so it, you know, it doesn't need to be particularly runny or anything like the final consistency. Wow, it does smell totally different to the stir fry one. Definitely chilly and oniony, but it's really rich sort of soy. Yeah, it's, it's got quite a deep and sweet aroma to it. I really, really like that. That's nice. Okay, let's try the powder. There it is. I remember the first time I opened that and smelt it. it smells like pure onion and garlic. It is so pungent, that powder. I seem to remember putting this on at the end and the experience of putting the powder on and mixing it in was, was part of what made eating this noodle so special. And I think that's why I always like it. When you get like the powder on a carbo bowl and you put it in after the noodles are cooked, it's part of the experience and part of the theater of it. I really like it. And this one, yeah, I mean, it just smells like garlic and onions. Really, really, really intense smell. Okay, I'll just show you these noodles up close. Beautiful. Let's go and cook it up. Okay. This looks and smells amazing. I have to say, it smells nothing like the stir fry baldac. It's completely different and I think I must, my memories must have just been getting confused and I'd forgotten just what this was like. But now that I've gone back to it, it really, it smells very chickeny when it's being cooked, I, I noticed, which, you know, must be that artificial chicken flavor. Really chickeny, really oniony. Basically nothing like the stir fry baldac smell. So I'm really glad, I'm really glad I went for this again because this has really, really opened my eyes, I have to say. Okay, the last bit here is the most fun. We need to put this chicken powder, this oniony, garlicky chicken powder in and stir it in. The smell is incredible. And as always, when you put the powder in on these Samyang noodles, it really thickens up the sauce. I mean, that is nothing like a typical stew type noodle at the moment. That's such a thick sauce. Like I'm calling it a sauce rather than a soup or a stew. It's so thick. looks and smells amazing. I have to say, from the look of this, the noodle consistency and texture it does look a little bit slimy. So I'm not sure if the noodles are gonna end up, you know, feeling a little bit overcooked or having a bit of a slimy mouthfeel. The smell. 
Wow, really chickeny, really oniony. That's predominantly what I'm getting. It's completely different to the normal baldac. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and have some of this soup with a spoon. But it's almost too thick to get at. Hmm. Wow, extreme chili heat. Really garlicky, nice and sweet. Yeah, completely different to a normal baldac, as far as I'm concerned. Look at those noodles. I don't think I can eat any more of that soup with a spoon. It's just too thick. I'm just going to have to give it a go with these noodles. So this is it, moment of truth. Okay. I think the texture is kind of as it looks. I mean, this is really thick as far as stew noodles go. This is really thick. The noodles have sort of, they stick together. They're sort of slimy in that way. That comes across in the mouthfeel. But the noodles, it's not like the noodles are lost. They're so thick that you still get that noodle texture. I think for my preference, I, I do like them to be slightly chewier. So maybe, maybe cooked slightly less but the flavor is brilliant. It's just completely different to what I was expecting. There's something about this where the chicken is the strongest flavor. Whereas on a normal baldac, you get chili, you get red pepper and sweetness, but every bite of this is chickeny. Salty, sweet, chickeny, really nice. Mmm, some chewy bits at the bottom, really nice. Mmm. Really salty, chewy bits. Not sure what they were. Wow. Okay, my mouth is on fire as expected. So unusual going back to this, I have to say, after, after having the stir fry noodles for so long. That was a real revelation for me. Completely unique. Nothing, nothing about that was anywhere close to anything else I've ever had on, you know, in the ramen aisle. The flavor was completely different to all the other baldac, completely different to all the other Korean noodles on the shelf, completely different to all the other noodles full stop. This is the only baldac I've had that actually tastes of chicken. Really, really good. In terms of the soup itself, that was way thicker than any other stew type noodle that I think I've ever had. So consistency was completely unique. Yeah, I think probably I would have liked the noodles to have been slightly chewier, but that's really easily solved by cooking it slightly less. Everything else about the noodles was brilliant. Really thick, really nice crinkle to them. So there's a nice mouthfeel. I think overall, that was brilliant. Very, very happy with that. I'm really glad I went back to that to try it. Okay, so let's have a think about the price. 1.35 classic Baldac price point. I think in terms of the quality and what you get, it's, it's basically unbeatable what you get for 1.35 there. That was just really, really, really good. And in terms of how often I would get that, I can't believe I left it years to try that again. I think I went on an odyssey around trying all of those different stir fry baldacs, all the different flavors, and then went down a rabbit hole with all the other Korean noodles I could find. And stupidly, I never came back to this one until now. I think that was something that I could eat every single day, honestly. If you gave that to me every day, I would eat that. And I would look forward to it, honestly. That was brilliant. So I think, if I was to think of a rating for this, is this as good as the Carbo Bowl, the classic stir fry baldac, prima taste lamian, all of those I could have every single day. Is this as good as those? The answer is yes. So for me, this is a, another easy five out of five.